fact information, dimensions information. Guys, I hope every one of you are aware with the basic SQL queries. Right. So, the basic SQL is nothing but, see basically your SQL is talking about what? Tables only, right? So we have two types of tables in a real time world. What is that? Fact table and dimension tables. We should know that right away. Okay. Yes. Look at this guys. Fact table. Okay. So what is meant by fact table? Any idea? Similarly, what is meant by dimension table? Because before starting up the development of this content, right, you should know about what is dimension, what is measure, what is ge ge demographic data, all those things. Okay, for example, look at this. Just an example. Look at this guys. Example, I'm taking a scenario that W, this W is having a backend as one of the RDBMS database. RDBMS in the sense, relational database management system. Like the databases like Oracle, Teradata, SQL Server, like that, okay. In any of the RDBMS database, we are going to store the data in the form of tables, like this, okay. Yes, tables. Now, what is meant by table? Table is nothing but collection of rows and columns. Look at this. See, I have a column. Right. And you have rows. See, how many rows I have? 33 rows. In a real-time world, you might have millions of records. I think you might have aware of it, right? Now. Look at the difference between these two tables. Numeric data, characteristic data. But look at the ta this table. Numeric data, both mixture of numeric as well as characteristic and Modal cost, modal day rent, modal price. So what does it mean? Measurable information. So we have two types of natures of a data. In fact, we have three types. I'll come to that point. Okay. Now, fact table. Okay. Fact table consists, okay, purely numeric data and it is always measurable okay always measurable always measurable in the sense guys the data like Aggregated data like sales revenue, right? Modal price, okay, modal cost. On top of this data, we can apply aggregations. Aggregations in the sense like maximum, minimum, average, count, such kind of operations can be done. Okay, that is what measurable information. Okay. So which is always measurable, where you can apply aggregations like average okay minimum maximum okay count etc so these sort of aggregative functionalities can be applicable on top of this data okay 
and fact consists summarized data or you can call it as aggregated data guys okay fact consists summarized data or aggregated data which is always measurable then how about dimension look at this dimension consists what both numeric as well as character see this is a numeric data but I cannot apply aggregations for example employee phone number numeric data can we able to apply sum of employee phone number plus sum of another employee phone number does it make sense definitely no so that is the reason dimensions okay consists both numeric and characteristic data both numeric as well as characteristic data but the numeric data is not measurable numeric data is not measurable but the data which is numeric in factable is always measurable now look at this guys since fact table is having summarized data okay since fact table is having summarized data dimensions gives details about measures about we can say facts so this is what okay now there might be situation look at this guys there might be a situation that we supposed to develop a tableau report example so don't you think it should be a combo of both country table and model table yes it is but how these tables are interlinked each other if you don't have a relationship between these tables and will you be able to generate a report is that possible definitely no you cannot if you don't have a relationship between the tables you cannot generate a consolidated report so that is the reason all these tables are interlinked based upon the what is this pk pk stands for primary key and fk stands for foreign key so what is the catchy point here both the fact table okay both the fact table and dimension table are interlinked based upon pk and fk pk stands for primary key foreign key fk stands for foreign key let me tell you what is the difference look at this guys i have two tables called region as well as country so imagine that country is the parent table yes country is the parent table because within a country you might have so many regions so you have one to many relationship look at this country so in this country how many columns you have country id and country name if you observe clearly country id is having how many rows 10 rows fine but is that duplicative is that repetitive anywhere no which means this is the primary key primary key never ever accept duplicative values you can also call it as unique key primary key or unique key now how it is interlinked with the other table that is called region now look at this how you can say whether we have a relationship or not guys here we have the common column okay i mean to say in between the two tables it could be fact or dimensions or whatever it is which is available in the rdbms level in between two tables what is the common column here country id which means 
yes we have a association of a data that is what the indication now what is the common column country id now look at this this country id is he is having over repetitive values which means country id one in the sense in a country table what is it is usa the name itself country name is usa now look at this usa but different regions which means country id in country table is primary key and in a child table that is region the common column again that becomes as a foreign key where it accepting repetitive values but that is not a duplicate look at this the region names are different but country id is same but if you look at here the region id it is having unique values this is a primary key so in this table the primary key is country id foreign key becomes country id in a region table in a region table what is the primary key that is region id where it doesn't accept repetitive values so in this way each and every tables are interlinked each other let me show you some example guys don't worry about the development of this component and installation everything i'll take care of it but this is the knowledge that you should have before digging into our actual stuff okay so that is the reason i am touch based with this basic information okay now look at this in a real time world okay whenever any uh, i mean to say whenever your tableau is interacting with any rdbms database they will okay you will have some logical data model look at this you have a logical data model this is what now look at this if you observe clearly you have a combo of fact as well as the dimensions okay now simple how you can ask me a question how we can identify whether it is a fact table or whether it is a dimension table simple as i mentioned fact consists what fact consists aggregated data now if i look at this data model look at this sales discount can't we apply aggregations on top of it like maximum minimum average sales disc, sales total something like that okay but anyhow in a real time world they will exclusively mention what is fact table and what is dimension okay fine now look at this guys you have country table and region table now tell me what is the common column between these two tables country id which means yes you are having association of a data now in between region and client what is the primary key and foreign key region id in region table becomes a primary key and region id in client table that becomes a foreign key because you have a associations that is what we used to call it as joins so these joins are associated based upon the primary key and foreign key now look at this in client table what is the primary key client id is the primary key but region id is the foreign key now look at this client id in client table becomes a primary key and client id in sale becomes a foreign key see but what is the primary key in sale table showroom id so in this way all these tables okay are interlinked based upon the primary keys and foreign keys i mean to say you have a association of a data the naming itself is saying guys rdbms relational database management system the reason i am explaining this is i am going to show you a dashboard a b a w dashboard with rdbms database in my next session that is the reason i am going to i am touch basing all these elements okay right i am going to touch base with the life cycle guys okay now tell me let's say customer has given this requirement example now do you think that are we going to generate this report blindly guys or any prerequisites or any process that we supposed to follow right yes there should be some process that we should adhere to right 
So let me put in this way. That is what? I'll give you a heads up today. Now look at this. That is what? We used to call it as phase one. That is functional knowledge. Okay. Where you can call it as functional, okay, business knowledge or domain knowledge, whatever it is. You can call it as a domain knowledge or business knowledge, whatever it is. This is the phase one, okay. And phase two, you know what? BRD, okay, nothing but business requirement document. Yes, business requirement analysis, I can say. Business requirement analysis. Business requirement analysis. That is one phase. Okay. And another phase is project plan. Tell me guys, without having a proper project plan, are we going to develop a report straight away? Right? No. It should have proper project plan as well. Right? This is phase 3. I can say it is. In a phase 2 itself, these topics will come in picture. Okay. And what next? So immediately after that, are we going to develop a report? No. There should be one more layer. Right? That is what? We used to prepare some technical specs. Yes, technical documentation. We used to call it as TDD or TSD, technical specification document, technical design documents. After that, after that what? Development execution will come in picture now. Development execution. Within that, right, you do have test cases preparation, unit test cases, I mean to say. Okay, yes. A developer also has to involve in the testing of your W report. Yes. So once it is done, once the development execution is done, next is what? QA, quality assurance or test environment. How are we going to validate the reports? Is that a W developer is going to involve in this activity or do we have a separate testing team, manual testing or automation testing, whatever it is. Okay. So once it is done again, what are we going to do? UAT, user acceptance test. Okay. Later on, finally, production. So this is what we supposed to talk. That is what life cycle guys, which means till this phase, if you want to start up a development execution, development activity, I'm supposed to go through these phases. So that is what. So that I'm going to touch base in my next session accordingly. Okay, guys. So in today's in today's session, what is the catchy point that I can emphasize is about this, about the sources information. Because next session, I am going to touch base. Look at this. How we can develop this kind of a dashboard in Tableau with RDBMS database. So that is the reason I just want to highlight these elements. Okay. That is the reason you should know what is fact, what is dimension, all those things.